Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to share with you how I turn a simple concept or idea sketch into multiple different paintings. So I start out with a very simple concept sketch of a nature scenery with some big clouds in the sky right on top of an open grass field and some mountain in the distant far away. For the first painting, we'll keep the color very simple. The sky will run from a dark blue to a lighter blue. The cloud shadow will be more of a purple grayish color and the light part will be a white and very light blue color. For the mountain, we'll keep using blue but this time we'll make it slightly darker and a little bit warmer. And finally for the grass, the shadow part on the grass will be a dark cool green color and the brighter area will have a bright yellowish green color. Starting out, I'm just gonna wet the paper with clean water just so that I get a more smooth transition for the sky and the clouds. The part of the sky that are closer to the horizon, lower down on the paper, will have a bright blue color and I'm gonna add more blue making it slightly darker and a little bit more saturated as we move upward. The area in the middle that I'm leaving white here will be for the clouds later on. For the clouds, starting out, I'm going to make the area on the right hand side of the clouds brighter. And for that, I'm just going to use white at the very beginning. And as I move more toward the bottom left side of these clouds, I'm going to mix more of a bluish, purplish, kind of desaturated gray color for that mixture. And even though this is a shadow area for the clouds, I'm still making that color value lighter than our sky. Now for the grass field, I'm adding lemon yellow with white and some blue for the very top part of the grass where everything is relatively bright. And then as we move forward to the bottom of the uh, painting area, I'm going to add more of a darker blue, making it a little bit more green and also cooler in temperature as well as darker in color values. Now for the details, I'm just adding some simple grass stroke here on the field. At this stage, the painting is like pretty much done. It just depending on how much details you want to add onto the field. I'm going to keep the process video here pretty quick, just so that we can go through the concept of how to create these three different paintings in a one video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see the slower version of these paintings in another video. And finally, I'll mix a dark blue for the mountains that are farther away. Mm -hmm. 
adding a couple more flowers to the field for the final details. And here is our first painting. Alright, now instead of having a complete new sketch, I'm just gonna use the same sketch, but I'm just gonna switch up the colors a little bit. I'm going to make the whole palette slightly warmer from the sky to clouds all the way to the grass field, making this more of a sunset scene. So the sky will have a warmer blue, and for the clouds, instead of having white and a grayish purple, I'm just gonna make more of a warm orange pinkish skin tone color for the brighter section and more of a darker also blue purple ish for the shadow section the shadow section for the grass field is still a dark green just slightly warmer and the brighter section on the grass field will now turn more of a warm yellow instead of a greenish yellow like the previous painting the whole painting process is pretty much the same as the last one. I still use wet on wet method and the only thing that is different from this painting compared to the previous one are, are the colors. To make this painting just a little bit more different from the last one, I'm going to make the shadow section on the grass field here um, sit more on a diagonal line instead of a horizontal line like the one right on the left hand side.
painting here, let's modify the sketch just slightly. You know, we still have the clouds and the open grass field underneath, but instead of having one big cloud in the middle, I'm just gonna have multiple smaller clouds kind of like from the sign pointing toward the middle instead. We'll still have the grass field underneath, but I'll make the grass slightly longer, more like kind of like wheat instead of just short grasses. And because we modified the sketch, we'll keep the color palette pretty much the same as before. Uh, the only difference is that I'm just gonna make the grass shadow section even warmer. So it's more like a reddish color instead of a green color now. And the painting process again is pretty much the same as the previous two. I'm still using wet on wet to give the painting that soft linen look. And here's our final painting. In this video, I only do three paintings, but you can use the same concept to expand to even more paintings. For example, you can do the same three paintings, but using a night color palette scene instead of the day one. Other than that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.